Hello, my name is Melissa and I'm from the Security Tech Team. In this video, I will show you how to configure management change in a Cisco Secure Firewall Management Center. With change management, administrators must open tickets before they can make configuration changes. To create new user roles, go to System Users and select the Users Roles tab. You can create separate roles to ensure that the ticket approval is assigned only to those users who have the authority to approve changes. We will be using two users for demonstration purposes, Ticket Creator and Ticket Approver. Change Management Workflow is disabled by default. If you want to enforce Change Management Workflow, you must enable it globally for the system. Choose System. Configuration, click Change Management, select Enable Change Management. You can select the number of approvals required, which is how many administrators must open the change for the ticket to be approved and deployable. Select the ticket Purge duration, which is the number of days to keep approved tickets. And as optional, you can select Reply to Address. Keep in mind that you must also configure the email notification system settings for email to work. Click Save. Now we will create a ticket. The system adds the ticket shortcut to the menu bar and the System Change Management Workflow. To create a new ticket, click on Add Ticket. Open the ticket. Make your configurations. You can preview the configurations done, validate them, put the ticket on hold, submit it, or discard. When you open a ticket and make a change to a supported policy, that policy is locked from changes by other users or through other tickets. The policy remains locked until the ticket is approved or discarded. Now moving into Ticket Approver. Only users with the Review Ticket permissions can see the Review tab. You can take any of the following actions on submitted tickets. Validate the configuration, approve the ticket, or reject the ticket. You can also preview the configuration changes for a ticket. If the changes are inadequate or undesirable, you can reject the ticket. Rejected tickets go back to the submitter who can then make additional changes and resubmit the ticket, or simply discard the ticket and the configuration changes that it contains. When a user submits a ticket, it must be approved for the changes made within the ticket to become active and available for deployment. Thanks for watching.